What is up all of you beautiful YouTube family? Welcome back to the Bad LSX Garage YouTube channel. In this week's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of everything from painting to doing a review on to who knows what. Whatever we can do in a 20 minute video. Stick around, stay tuned, and let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Welcome back, all you fam. Glad each and every one of you decided to stop back by this week to see what's going on, see what we're doing here at the garage, here at the compound. So if you've been watching the videos, you know that I recently just put tab performance mufflers on my 24 Road Glide. And well, there was a stack of parts over here in the corner that's dwindled away, that's sort of gone. But I was waiting on some more parts that was, well, connected to these parts. And if you can't already tell what's going on here, well, let me explain. I got on Buddy Bezos' website, Amazon, the Jungle website, and found a tour pack. Tour pack shipped to my house, completed, for like 340 bucks. The problem being, it was black, vivid black. So, whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. If I gotta take it to a paint shop, I'll take it to a paint shop. They delivered it, took a little bit longer than what it should, and they was a little rougher with my package than what they should, Ben. Don't you just love how FedEx and UPS drivers treat your packages? I waited two weeks for this package to get here just to watch it be slammed down on the ground. I mean, what part of fragile do you not understand? I'm not saying that this is okay, but I would have more of an understanding if it was a small female or a small guy that was trying to pack this box. Now, the dude looks like he belongs in WCW wrestling the rock. No pride in your work ethic or respect for other people's things. FedEx, you guys suck, do better. But regardless, it got here, it was undamaged. But we started working on it, and I forgot to bring you guys along with me. I'm halfway done with the process, so I'm trying to catch you guys up right now. So they do have, right now, eBay does, Whiskey Fire already mixed. In aerosol cans, you can get it in spray, whatever you need. They've already got it. And I'll put the paint coat up for the actual Whiskey Fire if you're wanting to do what I've done. But I got on eBay and actually found Color Right. And it is already mixed in the aerosol. They've got the color already here on the top. And they come with the clear coat. Comes with instructions if you need them. All the stuff you need. And I have to say, the color matches pretty dead on. I can't complain. Now, I've not even got a clear on this yet. It's just got the base. But I have sanded the vivid black off. And we have laid down a good primer, good etching primer. Sanded that down and got just the base coat on. Now, over here... I've got the base of the tour pack and it's been sanded. It's ready to go. I need to paint it. This is where you guys are gonna be with me today. We're gonna actually finish this up, get this top coat laid down on this, and then we'll lay the clear over top. you guys to check this out now I got this from Amazon nothing big nothing fancy matter of fact I can't even pronounce that name but check out the quality dead on matches perfect and I tried to check it out just to see if it was gonna fit it absolutely does fit my 2024 road glide these parts are really heavy duty it's got the multiple settings that you can fix so you have many adjustments and I'm just super pleased with this product I'm pleased with how well packaged it came I'm pleased with how well put together it is with the bolts and everything and I've seen some reviews everybody else was happy about it as well but they're worried to death and have been scratching their crash bar or their engine guard whichever one you want to call it and I've come up with a solution that I'm going to do. I don't know what you guys do or how you're doing it, but I'm going to take electrical tape and run on the inside of this. That way, when I put it on my engine guard, that it doesn't scratch it all up and I don't have big streaks and stuff all the way around it. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. 
but electrical tape is my friend. I don't think you could have gotten it any better unless you'd have went to a spray booth. I'm absolutely amazed. Just by spraying the outside, it looks good. And guys, this is just a base coat. This ain't even the clear on it yet. It is starting to flash. You can start seeing little dull spots here and there in it. And this one particularly, you can see that I went real light right here. And the reason being the mount goes there. So I couldn't see actually putting a whole lot of paint on something that's gonna be covered up with a mount underneath anyway. So yeah, that's why it's like that. Now, like I said, I gotta put the clear on. You're looking at about 45 minutes to an hour to let it dry, which I'm probably gonna wait about an hour to two hours. Make sure it's cured really good. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at the match. It's dead on. You got one more project before I wanna call this video quits. As I told you earlier, this it has Apple CarPlay, but you have to have the helmet hooked up to it. The, I do have the Cardo Pack Talk Bowl but I don't want it synced into all this. I want to keep my cardo strictly for talking to other people and for you guys when we do the rides and stuff. So I've been doing some research and I found out a quick and easy way to trick the system and that's by these two products right here. Now I only need one of these, but it came in a two pack. You can get both of these on Amazon. I'll put a link up that you can check them out, but you plug this into the system and you plug this into this and then you've got Apple CarPlay. Okay, you're asking yourself, how are you supposed to trick this Apple CarPlay? What's the secret to this? Well, on the left-hand side of your storage compartment, you can keep your gloves and such and whatever you wanna keep. On the right-hand side is where most people wanna keep their cell phone because there's a charger here. But here's the key. This is also a way to trick the system in order to get the Apple CarPlay to work. So you wanna get this anchor USB-C to USB 3.0 female adapter. Like I said, I got a two pack, but it is what it is. Not, not to be confused with two pack, two pack. So you wanna take this, now keep in mind, this is gonna eliminate any way to charge your cell phones and whatever. Well, you take this USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter and just plug it right into the system, like so. You're plugged in. Now at this point, you wanna take your car Bluetooth audio receiver and you wanna plug it straight into this anchor. And then this just needs to be tucked away. It just needs to be put down in there somewhere. I'll fix all this later, but for now, it's just gonna go right there. You need to go into your settings. Go into Device Manager, and this Ugreen 7601, you need to pair it to your phone, or pair it to, uh, to your bike. This is what that is, that Ugreen 7601. So make sure it's paired. Once you've got it connected, then you have to make sure that your phone's actually connected. See that little, that lets you know that Apple CarPlay is ready to go. So I have seen recently that there's some issues going on with this particular setup that it's freezing or maybe the bike is freezing and it's messing some things up. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with myself if it does. I will put it out there and tell you guys not to run this or whatever. But as of right now, it seems to be like it's going to work. Um, I think there are some other issue, other uh, options out there. But right now, I think this is the cheapest. So we're going to see what happens and go from there, guys. Yes, it's connected. There you go. There's Apple CarPlay. So it does work. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't on the maps because didn't. Not that I don't love you guys, but I'd prefer not to have where I'm where I live spread out everywhere all over the internet. I'm not sure where I left off, so we're going to start right here with the clear coat. It looks amazing. Yes, it has some imperfection in it, but it's it's aerosol cans. You can't expect a whole lot from aerosol cans, but it looks like it's been professionally painted. It does need some wet sanding and it's gonna get that in order to get that show quality shine like it's on the bike. Same with the bottom half of the tour pack turned out amazing. Now here in lies some problems. Not really problems, but just something to be aware of. So keep in mind, this tour pack is an Amazon special. 350 bucks shipped to your door. You get the tour pack itself. You get the King backrest. You get the black hardware like luggage rack and all the latches and stuff are black. You get the base plate that connects your docking hardware to your tour pack. It's black. 
and you get this little base plate that goes on the inside that sandwiches everything together to make everything secure and ready to roll, right? Okay, herein lies the problem. It comes with pre-drilled, sort of kind of pre-drilled holes. They're indented a little bit in the tour pack. It gives you a visual in order to be able to drill those holes. Do not, do not, do not. Can I say do not drill those holes immediately? You do need to measure first because those holes are off. You're going to take this piece right here and lay it onto the actual tour pack of itself. And these holes that are pre-drilled pre are not going to line up. So what you need to do is mark everything, measure, mark, measure, just double, triple check everything before you drill holes to make sure that it fits. Same goes with this plate that goes in the tour pack. As you can see, it's easier to show. That's how much it's off. That's just this. That's just this plate alone. That's how much it's off. Now, the tour pack itself is off <laughs> quite considerably. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. Something to watch for. Listen, it's still not a deal breaker. What, uh, 350 bucks for this, another, let's say 200 bucks in paint and primer, sandpaper, etc. So what, 550 bucks? I mean, I don't think you can, I don't think you can get one any cheaper than that and look as good and have the quality. Harley Davidson's gonna be what, 15, 18, $2,000 maybe. If you go anywhere else, it's gonna be 11, $1,200. Yes, you're gonna have a little time and a little effort into it, but come on, man, seriously. It's not perfect by any means, but for a down and dirty spray can job, I think it per turned out pretty amazing myself. Unless you'd have taken it to a professional, I don't think it could have gotten any better. Now, last you guys had seen, it was setting up. The clear had already been sprayed. I waited about three or four days for that. Then I went back with 2000 grit sandpaper, done a quick, easy, fast job, wet sanding, and then just buffed it out real quickly. It needs better. It needs more time taken. It needs to be gone back over with 3000 grit and then re -buff. It just needs more. If you get really down and close, you could see some small imperfections and some sand scratches. But you guys ain't got no reason to be that close to my bike, so you guys don't worry about it. I will take care of that. Now, like I said, the tour pack itself did come from Amazon, 350 bucks. As I said in the video as well, make sure that you measure 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 before you actually start drilling because here's what's going to happen you're going to drill a hole and it's going to be about an inch off either direction so just make sure that what you get from amazon that you double check it's a good nice product but just don't go by somebody else's measurements you be reliable for those not somebody else now i'm not sure how to pronounce the name of these highway pegs but i was online on amazon like always looking for something that matched the airstream of these Harley Davidsons. You can go to Harley Davidson and spend a couple hundred bucks easily on the exact same thing, but I didn't want to do that. So after a lot of research on Amazon, I found these. I love the reviews. Everybody else loved the product, so I had them shipped here. So far, I can't complain about them. There's plenty of adjustments. You can move them however you want to move them. And I mean, I'm a shorter rider. I'm about five, eight and a half, five, nine and a half on a good day. And they fit me perfect. You can, like I said, adjust them however you want them. I've got them where I can lay my foot off to the side or I can lay my boot over the top, however that I want to ride. And I know a lot of people said that they had problems with scratching the highway bars or crash bars. Well, I guess you would if you move them around a lot or if you change them up or whatever but if you do the tape trick like i done i don't think you're going to have any issues tricking this apple carplay was probably the best feature available right now anyways because you don't have to use the headset i can keep my cardo strictly for using the gopro or for talking to other riders so when you hook up this little thing here to trick the the device it works, it works really well. I've got about 400 miles tied into this so far and where other people says it's kicked them off and it's done little things here and there, 
it's not done that to me. So it works pretty good, I think. Now I do have another device on the way that will free up this. It will keep it strictly for what it's supposed to be for, which is charging your cell phones and whatever else. But right now that isn't here, so I'm just using what I have and I can't complain, it works. That's gonna do it for this week's video. And don't forget about the giveaway, guys. The third keyword will be Apple CarPlay. If you've enjoyed this video, go down there and give old dad a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. I love each and every one of you, and until next week, fam, you know what to do. You ready? Let's do this. Peace. I'm out.